Hey, how's it going? Uh, I got some bench time. So time to build some more models. All right, let's do it. What's up with doing that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, how you been? I've been all right. Uh, work has been crazy. Got a bit of a head cold, as you can hear. Uh, but other than that, things are good. I'm going to uh, work on getting the stowage for the car inside and out, as much of it as I can get together. I'm going to uh, stick it on some, some sticky sticks that I've prepared and get some primer going on that. But first, I want to modify this gas tank. Um, in my mind, those ends, it's not a great place to fuel. And from that Jeep kit, I have the gas tank cap thing. So I'm going to attempt to drill a hole right in the center of this and drop that in there. And then that'll give me something to hang on to because both ends are going to be exposed. And uh, yeah, we're going to just kind of work on this and other things and try to make some video and have a good time. Let's go. Alright, there we go, that fit in nice and snug, pretty much centered, that works for me. Um, now I'm just going to mount some kind of a dowel in there so I can paint this thing. Alright, so we're going to uh, just shoot some primer, I'm just going to use some rattle can gray. Nice light coat, see? It's Saturday and I got some bench time, so I'm going to get straight to it. A little bit of music in the background. And I'm going to start by uh, painting all that primer stuff, most of it, with uh, some flat black just to give it a shadow. And then we'll go from there. I'm just going to build today, man. Just going to build. So now that I get that sprayed black, I'm kind of organizing stuff by what colors I have to use. So all the tools are going over here um, to get and everything that's wood. I'm going to hit those with a combination of uh, like a sand color and yellow, basically. Um, yeah, whatever you got will work, of course. And uh, some things are olive drab. Some things are going to be like a bare metal. I'm thinking this this box here. It would be like, a, I don't know, an aluminum maybe or something like that. I'm going to make it more modern, but still a little beat up, but not bad. Um, try to put a cool graphic on the top of that. There's just lots of opportunity with this build to experiment, right? Some things got to be rusty. Um, fuel cans are going to be olive drab. The other one's going to be like an orange, more like our, our uh, normal fuel cans, jerry cans. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and just trying to get stuff organized, trying to get some paint put together. I'm going to be using just a little bit of everything from AK to Tamiya to Vallejo to Life Color. I got tons of paint, so whatever. I just use whatever color works that I have closest at hand. So it's been a really good afternoon, um, you saw most of it I guess, got all this stuff painted, painted, more stuff painted, and my rusty buckets painted. So now I'm going to, uh, I already stopped for lunch or supper or dinner or whatever you call it, but I'm going to put some hairspray on these uh, rusty parts and then get some top coat. I'll take another break, I'll play with the dog or something. Pretty productive day. Pretty productive. There's still so much to do though. Wow, that guy look I'm looking at that car thinking, man, there's a lot of steps left. 
I mean, hey, you want to build a model? So what do you think? I'm starting to get it. We've given that lots of time to dry, so now I am going to paint a shell fuel barrel. Middle stripe is yellow, top and bottom are red, and the ends are yellow. Yellow. So while I wait for that to dry, <clears throat> before I put the masking tape to do the other colors, um, there's no decals with the Dark World Creation stuff, but uh, I think we need something, especially on this water jug here. So we see that, you see it there, I'm just going to grab my calipers. Okay, so this thing is safely, I'm just measuring the width of it. Dun, 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 dun. So like six millimeters wide. And we're golden. Six millimeters wide. Measure twice, cut once. Yeah, six, even six and a half. Okay. Let's go make a decal. Okay, I know the lighting's terrible in here, but uh, there's a water jug, so I'm just going to snap a picture of that. Since it doesn't have to be very high res, I'll just use the iPhone. All right, so we're out here again. There we go. All righty. So we're just gonna crop this image. We make it. Seven millimeters. Then I'm going to jump into Corel Draw. I use this quite a bit for different stuff. Uh, letter sheet. <whistles> Decal Zombie, where are you? And in case I screw it up, we'll make a few. Those are seven wide. Those are six and a bit. There we have it. Okay, now we're back at the bench, and I'm going to. Uh, well, I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to grab a knife and a ruler. This is not decal paper, this is label paper. Um, again, it boils down to the whole issue of trying to cut white, or trying to print white decals. I can't do that. So, label paper. Label paper, bleh, will uh, we'll do the trick. Label blaper. Graphics on both sides. Now, the idea was to damage one of them. Not that it makes a big difference. Whatever. You know it. I know it. It's alright. We gotta just paint that uh, cap white and then we're good to go. Uh, let's get the hairspray chipping going on this. Hey, it's Monday morning and uh, that's the end of the video so I will see you again later I'm gonna go edit this sometime throughout the day lots of other things to work on too and I uh, hope you have a good week and I hope I get back down here again this week and keep going on this now it's time to uh, start with some enamels and whatnot on those uh, barrels and stuff and then get some dull coat on them so they're not so shiny and keep going from there. Wow, that light's bright.
This video is probably really red. Okay, I'll see you later. God bless.